It was a long process that's pretty much been my whole life. I've always been an artistic person and I've always been very detail oriented. I always cared very much about staying in the lines and making sure everything looked perfect. So I found nails and nail art and that was around the time that nail art just became huge and it was the topic of every conversation. Everybody wanted to know what you know supermodel was wearing, what color and what, what outfit. So it came at the perfect time. and. When I discovered it, it was just kind of like, oh, this is what it is. It's detail-oriented work, it's color, it's beauty, it's artistic. It was pretty much everything I always ever wanted, just in one beautiful polished package. Runway Inspiration is a collaborative, always. I generally have a sketchbook where I'll draw little nails and I'll get my Essie polishes all in a row in a spectrum of, you know, what I feel the designer is gravitating towards. And I'll just start polishing either my own nails or I'll have a friend come over and they'll start polishing their nails. And I just, I'll even start taking photos of them in dark light and in low light and just see how how the look feels, how it's worn and how it looks on paper. And then once I have some designs that I think are really strong, I'll present them to the designer and then they can let me know if, you know, I've, I've exactly executed their vision or whether there's some revisions. It's probably one of the more rewarding parts of working for Fashion Week because once I see the garment and the girl wearing them with the hair, the makeup and the nails and there's just an overall look and it's, it's complete. That's where you realize that nail art really is the detail that can take you know, a runway look from here to here. It's just you know, covering all of your bases. Color trends that we're going to be seeing this season for fall and winter is we are continuing that nude look, but again, no pink in the nudes. We're starting to see a lot more stone, a lot more taupe nudes for fall and winter. As well, you're going to be seeing a lot of red. It's very classic for fall and winter very you know anybody can wear it you just have to find your your right place within the spectrum of like a berry or a cherry red uh, we're seeing a lot of gold accents not necessarily an entirely gold nail and uh, in new york for alice and olivia we did gold dotting on top of black nails so it's all about adding gold as an embellishment or as jewelry if you will um, and lastly, we're kind of breaking the rules a little bit because for fall winter we're also seeing a lot of lighter white, even pastel shades, which generally you don't see for fall winter. And I think it plays more into uh, you know, a snowy winter wonderland feel, whereas for the summertime a white color feels more beachy. And we have nails in different levels of dress and undress. Some nails are completely covered while some, you know, have a little area that's bare, which is I think really fun and I think where nails are moving towards. It's not all about, you know, how many design elements can we put on a nail, it's what can we take away that makes for bigger impact.